हेलो फ्रेंड्स आई एम संजय गुप्ता इन दिस वीडियो आई एम गोइंग टू डिस्कस अबाउट कॉपी कंस्ट्रक्टर इन सी प्लस प्लस बिफोर स्टार्टिंग यू कैन नोट दीज इंफॉर्मेशन विच इंक्लूड्स माय ऐप बुक्स एंड यूट्यूब चैनल विच विल बी बेनिफिशियल फॉर योर स्टडी पर्पजेज नाउ कमिंग ऑन टू द टॉपिक विच इज कॉपी कंस्ट्रक्टर वी कैन पास एनी टाइप ऑफ आर्ग्यूमेंट्स इन कंस्ट्रक्टर एक्सेप्ट एन ऑब्जेक्ट ऑफ इट्स ओन क्लास so when we pass arguments other than object their values normally assigns to constructor but when we pass an object of a class as parameter of constructor then we have to pass reference of that object so such a constructor having a reference to an instance of its own class as an argument is known as copy constructor so friends in short we can say that we can pass an object in a constructor and the constructor which is receiving an object will be known as copy constructor so now we have to understand how we can implement copy constructor so you can see this uh, syntax here uh, a is uh, a is implemented as copy constructor and this is receiving a reference of a class and inside this uh, body we can define uh, instructions related related to this copy constructor so let's understand the concept of copy copy constructor with this example in this constructor name of constructor is distance this constructor is receiving a reference in d so uh, first object is created d1 then d1 dot read function is called now uh, d2 object is created and i am trying to assign values of d1 into d2 so this statement will automatically invokes copy constructor so reference of d1 reference of d1 will be passed to d and d dot feet and d dot inch will be assigned into feet and inch which is belonging to d2 so friends you can say that values of d1 is referenced by d and through d they are assigned into feet and inch which are related to d2 so if we want to assign uh, values of an object into another object at the time of its creation then copy constructor can be used now this is another example which is related to an array so here uh, an array is declared then in public first default constructor is declared then copy constructor then read function and then print function all these functions are declared here then outside the class default constructor is defined which is initializing each index by zero value then copy constructor is defined in copy constructor reference of an object is received into obj then obj dot a of i is initialized into a of i means an object will be referenced by obj and the values of that referenced object will be assigned into a of i which is uh, indicating implicit argument so this definition belongs to copy constructor then read function it is quite simple it is reading five different values from user and similarly print function is displaying those entered values on console now main function inside main function a1 object is created here default constructor will be invoked then a1 dot read will uh, read some values from user then a1 dot print will display all the entered values on console now this uh, statement is important array a2 a1 here copy constructor will be invoked reference of a1 object will be passed and through that reference all the elements which are available inside a1 will be initialized into a2 then a2 dot print will print the values which are available inside a1 but now these values are available inside a2 so you can see the output first you have to enter five values so uh, here 1 2 3 4 5 has been entered then first array contains 1 2 3 4 5 and second array also contains 1 2 3 4 5 so uh, i have entered values to only a1 object and i have printed a1 as well as a2 uh, both the objects are printing same values so whenever you are going to implement this program in your uh, computer or laptop you can see that you have to enter uh, values only once and you will be receiving output twice one through a1 and another from a2 and this is uh, possible with the help of copy constructor because copy constructor 
uh, copied all the values which are available into a1 object inside a2 so friends copy constructor is beneficial if you want to copy values of an object into another object so implement this program in your computer thank you for watching this video